So, dear student, today I'm going to discuss regarding the Fourier series, especially the important questions which is going to come for the VT or any other entrance exam, not entrance, engineering examinations. Okay, so let's go through that. Fourier series and Fourier transform. So, it's very important. It will be either coming on the M2 or the M3 of the engineering mathematics. So, I'll just share the link now. Yeah, I think... You guys will be able to see the screen, correct? So we got a Fourier series, obtained the Fourier series of pi minus x by 2, 0 less than x less than 2 pi. Hence, we had to deduce this equal to pi by 4, correct? Yeah. So first thing is, the general Fourier series formula is f of x a0 by 2 sigma n is equal to 1 to infinity a n cos n x plus sigma n is equal to 1 to infinity b n sin n x. Okay. And the shortcut for this problem is to predict the answer. Okay. So pi minus x by 2. Fine. If I'm putting x value as 1, what is my f of 1? Pi minus 1 by 2. If I'm putting f value as minus 1, it is pi plus 1 by 2. So 1 and minus 1 is not giving me the same answer. So hence it is an odd function. For odd function, a0 and a n value will be 0. So this and this is zero. So this term is entirely deleted. Okay. It's such a shortcut. And we have to find only Bn. But for the examination point of view, you might have to show it. But again, I'm telling you how to predict the answer. A naught. A naught is given by 1 by pi nil 0 to 2 pi f of x dx. A n again, we got a value 1 by pi nil 0 to 2 pi f of x cos nx dx. B and similarly 1 by pi nil 0 2 pi f of x sin n x dx. Okay. Now, what is my f of x in the question? Pi minus x. So instead of f of x, you put pi minus x. And just see the answer a and value 0, just as I predict. That's it. So if it is not function, it is 0. Which one? A naught and e n. A n. And then you can ask me what is an even function. Even function is nothing but if f of x is equal to x square x square x power for all are what? Even function. In the sense, if I put f of 1, I'll be getting what 1. f of minus 1, I'll be getting as 1. Because x square or square of any negative number is also 1. So, in that case, only bn value will be 0. a0 and an will be there for the even function. So, if you want, you can just hear it one more time for better understanding. But if you understood, let's go to the solving. So, again, End of the day, you will be getting zero as the answer. That's all. And basic integration, you have to know upper limit minus lower limit once you integrate it. So integral of pi is pi x, integral of x is x by x square by 2. Take this two outside. Then upper limit minus lower limit. So in place of x, I'll put 2 pi. Correct? That's all. Zero anyway, it's zero only. So no need to do it and waste time. An. An is nothing but 1 by pi integral. 0 to 2 pi, the limit f of x dot cos nx dot dx. Okay, 0 to 2 pi, a pi minus x by 2 cos nx dot dx. So again, I told you an value is also 0. Let's check it that. Yeah, an is also 0. So in this one, you have to use what Bernoulli's rule. Bernoulli's rule is nothing but first function. First function into integral of second function minus differentiation of the first function into double integral of the second function. Okay. So 1 by 2, they already taken it outside here. Then first function is pi minus x. In the integral of cos nx is sin nx by n minus differentiation of pi minus x. Differentiation of pi is 0, x is minus 1. Then integrate this one. Because as I told you, double integrate the second function. So already one is integrated, just integrate one more time. Sin nx integration is minus cos nx by n, so n into n, n square. That's all. Then apply the upper limit minus lower limit. Sin 0, sin pi. Sin n pi value is always what? 0. Just write it down. Sin n pi value is always 0. You can completely erase this term. I'll see whether I can do it. Yeah. Mm.
Is it wrong? I think. Yeah, this particular value. This is always sine n pi is always zero. So if you put two pi zero, whatever it is, it is zero only. So this entire term is gone. So minus minus plus. Then you have to do only this term. Okay. Fine. Then you have to do only this term. So cos n into two pi and cos zero. You already know the value one. Okay. And again, one more thing. What I write here is cos n pi value. cos n pi value is minus one whole power n pi. This is my pi symbol. Huh? Okay, this pi symbol. So if it is one pi, it is minus one whole power one, it is minus one. If it is two pi, Minus one whole square. So that is plus one. So that's how it is. So it's cos two n pi is one. It doesn't matter what is n value. So end of the day, whatever you do, you'll get the answer zero. Fine. So that's it. So you'd only find what b n value. B n again. 1 by pi integral of f of x into sine nx dx. Same thing, take 2 outside. Then do what? First function into, first function into integral of second function. Minus differentiation of first function into integral of second function, the previous function here, this one. Or double integral of this one. So basically, you just integrate only this again. You will get it over here. Okay, so once you have done it, You'll be getting this, then just put the upper limit minus lower limit. Now, here, minus pi again, take it outside. Cos to n pi and cos 0. Both are same. Okay, so then we'll be getting what? What is my cos to n pi value? 1. What is my cos 0 value? 1. So minus pi minus pi, already take it outside. So minus 1 minus 1, it is minus 2 pi. That's it. Then you can cancel it out. And you'll be just getting 1 by n. Then substitute a naught a n and b n value in the above Fourier series equation. This one, the first one. a naught 0, a n 0, b n. I just now got 1 by n. Substitute everything, that's it. Then the second part of this question is hence reduce that. I have to get the series. So to get the series, either you put x value is 0, pi by 2 pi by 4, pi by 3, pi, that's it. Okay, the five values you have to put and see. So here it is pi by 4. So you have to think that what value if I put for x, I'll get pi by 4. If I put pi by 2, what is pi minus pi by 2? Pi by 2. Pi minus pi by 2. If I put the x value as pi by 2, pi minus pi by 2 is pi by 2 by 2, that is pi by 4. So just put x is equal to pi by 2. Yes, in the Fourier series of f of x. So f of pi by 2 is what? Sigma n is equal to 1 to infinity. Correct? Sin n pi by 2. The same thing here. So I'll be getting what? Pi by 4. Then the series will follow. n is equal to 1. Sin pi by 2 is what? 1. That's it. And n is equal to 2. If I'm getting 2, I'm getting sine pi value. 2 and 2 will get cancelled. I already told you sine n pi value is 0. So you just write it down. If you're not able to figure it out, I'll just write it down. So if I'm getting 2 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi, 5 pi, whatever pi is there, it is not pi by 2, it is 0. That's it. Okay, so with this, I'll be able to get it. So just substitute these values and just copy on the question. That's all.
we'll get the required answer. Next question is this, obtain the Fourier series of function x square in minus pi less than x less than equal to pi and hence deduce that. One by one square minus one by two square, we to deduce it. So I told you, x square is an even function. So in even function, bn value will be zero. I have to just find out what a naught and an. See the thing, as I told you, bn value is zero because it is an even function. So I'll just find out a naught and a. Same formula, f of x equal to a naught by 2 plus sigma is equal to 1 to infinity a n cos n x plus sigma is equal to 1 to infinity b n sin n x dot dx. Correct? And let's see the period here. It is given minus pi to pi. Correct? So I have to just put a naught is equal to 1 by pi minus pi to pi. Okay, f of x dot dx. And just put the function value x square integration x cube by 3 upper limit minus lower limit substitute and get your answer okay a naught you will be getting a naught by 2 is pi by pi square by 3 that's it and similarly 1 by pi integral minus pi to pi f of x dot cos n x dot dx then again apply Bernoulli's first function into integral of second function minus Differentiate the first function, that is 2x, correct? Into integrate the previous function. So whatever you integrate, that value is here, no? Just integrate it again one more time. Correct? Yeah. Then differentiate this function again. Then I'll be getting 2. Then integrate this function. Okay. Then regarding the signs here, it will be alternate minus and plus. Then again, if you want to, differentiate what is differentiate to zero that's the reason they are not doing further integration then again i told you pi whenever sign is coming don't do it it's a waste of time so put zero that's it just do it for this alone take minus two by n square outside just put x cos n x that's it upper limit minus lower limit so i'll be getting just cos n pi what is cos n pi value Cos n pi value is minus 1 whole power. Yeah. Cos n pi will be getting that is minus 1 whole power n by n square. That's all. So you should not get confused why cos n pi is this. This is also I written on the previous question. Bn, I told you if it is an even function, the answer is 0. So you can just do the Bernoulli's trials and then that directly write down zero by skipping the step entirely. It's a waste of time. Then substitute the a naught a n and b n value directly. So if you have the doubt that will I get the marks if I don't do a substitution? Yeah, you will get the marks because since your answer is correct. But if your answer is not correct, then we cannot expect any mark of the same. So I hope it's helpful for you. So thus by substituting the value of a naught a and b in the Fourier series given by f of x equal to what substitute the value will be getting it. So in this question, they're given us something to deduce. Let's see, see here. They're given something for us to deduce. I told you either you put x square is 0, pi, pi by 2, pi by 3, pi by 4, pi by 6. You'll be getting the answer. So the function is x square. So if I'm putting x is equal to 0, first thing, I'll be reading what 0 only, pi square by 3, correct? Cos 0 is 1. Then I'll be getting what minus pi square by 3 will be here. And this 4 will be taken outside. So 4 into 3, 12. Pi square by 12, the first function I'll be getting. And just substitute n is equal to 1. Minus 1 whole power 1 is minus 1. Minus 1 whole square is Next one is n is equal to 2. So minus 1 whole square is plus 1 by 2 square. Minus 1. So already minus and plus. We'll be getting. Next thing is when I'm putting x value as pi. I'll be getting this series. In the sense, I'll be getting pi square by 3. Same thing I have to do. I'll be getting the second series. Then if I add the first and the two, and if I take the LCM, I'll be getting the third series. 
Okay, so this you can pause it and you can try it by yourself. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much.